and welcome back to one of my art demos. Today I'm going to embark on something a bit more ambitious with mixed media. I might be overdoing it slightly, um, but we'll just have to wait and see. I just couldn't resist certain items, um, starting with this picket fence here um, and these roses, which I, I found these in Chickadee um, High Street shop. They seem to be doing a lot of craft orientated stuff at the moment. Some stickers which I may or may not use. Um, vintage notes from Paper Mania, cardstock stickers. And I think I got these from Hobbycraft as well. So I might put down some, um, oh, I had an idea first of all of doing a cottage scene um, after having seen the, uh, the picket fence I've sketched out a cottage scene where I'm going to include roses spilling out over the picket fence some stenciled hollyhocks in the background using my trusty homemade stencil if you remember from one of my previous videos and some of these are small enough to, to fit into the scene and maybe even some straw for the thatched roof. Um, this is raffia I bought from Hobbycraft. I think it was about two or three pounds. So, first of all, I need to put a ground down. So, I may or may not stick some uh, cardstock on. Um, and I want a very sort of textured uh, surface for the whitewash walls of the cottage. So I'll definitely be using some sand texture paste for that. Um, right, so I'll get cracking and speed it up for you so you can chill out, chillax as my kids say, and watch. <laughs> cottage should go um, so that I can fill in with sand texture paste as ground. <laughs> drying I'm going to add in a bit more colour to the sky and the grass and a bit of texture as well with some stamping <music> take ages to dry um, so rather than wait I'm going to stamp on the coloured area the sky and the grass well mainly the grass really for texture this is a stamp by Kaiser Craft it's quite a popular one I think and I'm using stays on um, which is permanent 
So when this dries, I can work over the top of it without it running. Okay, before I forget, I mustn't leave out the chimney here. Right, I had put a bit of a tree into the background here, so I might try and include that just to balance the picture out, composition. Um, Okay, so now I'm going to mix up some sand texture paste with this Rose Madder acrylic by Reeves. Um, and I'm going to paste it through the stencil to make some hollyhocks. That's really thick. It's a bit blobby as well, I'm afraid, but um, I'm going to stick with it because I do quite like the colour scheme. Um, so I'm going to put some grey on the sand texture paste as a ground to brush white over the top. I'm just going to dry it a bit more because I want another hollyhock about here. if you can see how thick that is that texture paste but that will take a while to dry so I'm gonna put this to one side and while that's drying I'm thinking of sorting out my thatched roof and really what I want is cut edges overhanging the whitewashed wall but folded edges where the top of the roof is so I'm going to try and achieve that separately so that it's ready to stick down when this is dry tomorrow. Okay finally before I wrap it up for today as the light fades um, I've got this little pack here from Hobbycraft and it's called 10 things that make me happy um, and it's just really really cute. Uh, it's like a little pocket or docket with these inside numbered from 1 to 10 um, it's my dog chasing my cat in the background, sorry. And uh, I thought one of these could make a nice front door. They all, they all say the numbers at the top with the date at the bottom, but I'm going to crop that. So I, I'll decide which colour to use. I'm thinking maybe this one. <laughs> It's the next day and I did some of the roof, well I've done hopefully all of the roof, the thatched roof. So I've done it in three sections because of the chimney in the way. <laughs>
okay, I've glue gunned the roof, the thatched roof down. So now the crowning glory, the inspiration behind the whole piece, the picket fence. I'm hoping it won't all fall apart when I trim it, but it's held together with bendable wire, so um, coated in white, so that's, that's convenient. So I, I don't want the picket fence right up to the edge. I prefer the look of seeing some of the grass in front of the house like that. Okay, so I've stuck these down with a hot glue gun. I've added a bit more matte medium to the uh, to the straw roof, the thatched roof. Um, I'm just holding that down to weight it down as it dries. So now the um, roses, figure out where to put them. <laughs> Home sweet home, something like that. Um. enjoyed it I'm going to put it on sale on my Etsy shop so look out for any discounts as a YouTube viewer um, and I hope you feel like having a go yourself feel free to explore shops for things that you know you might look at and think oh it's a bit a bit too much just be bold about it and have a go um, as long as you use the right kind of glues and stuff to hold things down then really the sky's the limit there are no real rules for this kind of thing. Um, so that's it. See you again next time.